guys, welcome back to today's video. Uh, today I'm going to be altering a couple of garments for you guys. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I've just been pretty lazy with ordering some thread and stuff like that. So I did order some thread, the thread has come now. So I'm literally going to basically go through the process on how you can upcycle any jumpers or t-shirts or whatever you've got that you might sort of be bored of or you're just not really keen on the shape of it and how you can basically crop them and give them new life. So the first item that I'm going to be altering is this jumper, so it's like a lilac jumper, it's got the sort of kangaroo pouch pocket at the front here, it's got a nice sort of waistband here as well, it's just like a normal jumper that you can just get anywhere pretty much. Um, so my plans for this one is I want to take this pocket out because I'm going to unstitch it here, stitch down here. So I'm going to unstitch it there, take the pocket out. My plans are to put it up here on like the chest area and then basically add this waistband back on it again so that it's basically cropped. about there so it will more or less kind of look like this once it's done with the pocket up here and the crop down here the last thing that I'm going to be altering today is this t-shirt I got this t-shirt again it's Levi's one I got this one on uniform with the intent intention of cropping it to the waist like this so I'm gonna have to bring in a lot so that it's cropped and this waistband finishes at the waist. It is kind, of, it is elasticated, but it's currently attached, as you can see there, to the t-shirt. So it's not as stretchy as it can, well, it kind of is. It's not as stretchy as it can be though. So I need to take it in at the waist on the sides and then reattach the band so that it's further up and finishes at my waist. So it'll somewhat look like this when it's finished. Hey guys, I actually just wanted to jump in while I was editing this because I realised that I lost quite a few clips from this video. I'm not sure if I pressed record properly or what happened, but there are a few clips missing. So the transition straight into the tutorial is missing and there is a step to do with the waistband when it gets to the t-shirt that's also missing, but it's nothing major and I'm sure you'll still be able to follow on. So with that, let's get straight into the video. First thing you want to do is grab your unpicker and unpick the stitch that's holding the pocket in place because you're going to want to position this further up on the jumper. The second step is to remove the waistband from the jumper. I did start by unpicking this but I'm not going to lie I quickly became really impatient so I actually did end up just trimming the seam which is a lot quicker. So don't waste your time by unpicking it, just trim it. Next up, you're going to want to pin the waistband and the jumper together. You'll need them to be right sides facing each other. To make this easier, the best bet is to start by pinning the centre front of the waistband and the jumper as well as the centre back. This will be easier when it comes to having to pull the jumper and ease the jumper into the waistband as the width of the waistband is shorter than the width of the jumper. This will create an even ruching. Take it over to the overlocker and overlock the seams together. Remember to be pulling the fabric so that it's taut and straight when you're sewing it. Also removing any pins holding it in place to make sure that you are not damaging any needles or anything like that. You can see me pulling the fabric here which is making the fabric all straight and easy to overlock together. Once you've overlocked the seams, this is the outcome. As you can see, the pocket is wedged between the waistband and the jumper, securing the opening at the end. The next step is to top stitch the top of the pocket as well as the sides to ensure that the pocket is functional and well secure onto the jumper. I picked one of the cross stitches on my domestic machine to give it a little bit of flair or just so that it wasn't just like a simple lock stitch.
And this is the final result. I am really over the moon with this and I know that I'm gonna get so much more usage out of this jumper now. I really like the position of the pocket being higher up and the crop is just more flattering for my shape as you can see from the before. And it just works really well. With the t-shirt, we're gonna start off by drawing a cut line across the t-shirt like around about here. We're also going to be removing the waistband and shortening it so that it's the width of the waistband is smaller than the width of the t-shirt, similar to the jumper. So we'll start off by drawing the line that I'm going to cut with a bit of tailor's chalk. You don't have to do this, but I personally chose to do it just so that I'm in making sure that I'm cutting a straight line. You're gonna wanna cut along the line that you've just drawn. Drawn? <laughs> along the line you've just drawn. This is gonna make it easier when you're unpicking the waistband so that you don't have the whole t-shirt to carry. Next up, you're gonna unpick the waistband. So just get your unpicker and just unpick this. Take your time with it, it is a little bit tedious and can be a bit long-winded, but uh, you don't really wanna get your scissors to it because you want the waistband to be in good condition. Once you've unpicked your waistband, you're gonna kind of wanna measure around you to see what sort of length you want and then cut it to length like so, so that you have two waistbands to the same length that you are wanting. You then want to kind of match them up, right sides together, and make sure that they are obviously the right way round. <laughs> and yeah, you're gonna basically overstitch, overstitch, you're gonna overlock along this seam. Once you've overlocked both sides of the waistband, you will have your waistband ready. And as you can see here, the width of the waistband is a lot shorter than the width of the t-shirt. So again, what you wanna do is put a pin in the center front and center back of the t-shirt and the waistband, and then match the waistband and t-shirt at the sides, center front, center back, and then you're basically just gonna wanna pull the waistband so that it all matches with the t-shirt like it's doing now and just pin it in place. And then again, the same thing that you did with the hoodie, when you come to sew this, you're gonna wanna be pulling it so that it's taunt and all straight rather than having all these sort of loose fabrics of the t-shirt so that it basically creates that ruching effect again. So just take that back to the machine and as you can see, I'm just removing all the pins and pulling on the waistband of the elastic so that it's nice and straight when you're sewing it. And then you finish with it like this, basically. I did reattach the red tab, obviously. <laughs> I wasn't gonna leave it out. Um, and this is pretty much how the waistband looks when it's done. You can sort of see a bit of the ruching from where it brings it in. And this is the before and after. I really like this T-shirt as well. And I definitely know that I'm gonna be wearing it a lot more. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I will see you next week with another one. Thanks, bye.